I now call on the leader of the Conservative group, Councillor Darius Laws, please. Whoa. Whoa. Lord Lieutenant, Mr Mayor, friends, uh, this is just epic. I mean, that wax seal is just phenomenal. This is an incredibly proud moment for us all. There are too many people to thank for the technical reason of why we are here today over many years, and I can see many faces in this room who have all played uh, a part in, in getting us to where we are. Um, I will just give a nod to the former leader of the council, Paul Dundas, because if it wasn't for him indulging me when I put my hand up saying that we must bid for city status, we wouldn't be here today. So I'm very grateful to Paul. Um, I know there was trepidation about doing this because we tried four times previously and been unsuccessful. But uh, there was something in my stomach that said we really did have a chance. And when we weren't up against Ipswich and South End, I knew that we really did have a very strong chance. Um, when, when you're in the chamber downstairs, um, and if you haven't seen it lately, please go and have a look. It's always open for you. Um, you can look on the wall and see 2,000 years worth of name variants of, of Colchester. Um, it, it really does just demonstrate what a special place this is. Uh, the one name that has always stood out to me, though, uh, is Colonia Victricensis, the city of the victorious, as was named by the Romans. Now, tonight isn't the night to have a discussion about whether they were invited here or, or, or not, but what is absolutely certain is that they came here. In fact, meters away from where we are right now, they had a fortress that then became the Colonia. They came here first of everywhere on this island, and no doubt they came here for our sophisticated culture, our people, and also our assets. And we've still got assets, attributes, and sophistication today in abundance. The, it's been said earlier, but you know, the people, the spirit, there is something here, isn't there? We are a lovely, tolerant, open-minded, enthusiastic, fun, entrepreneurial people. Um, and, I, and I meet strangers on a virtually a daily basis, and I, I really feel something special here, and that's why I stay here and make, have made this my, my home. When I'm uh, underground, um, fertilizing the grass and trees in the graveyard in, in Nayland, um, maybe it'll be my children and maybe your children that will be involved in the next chapter and maybe actually the next chapter might be about UNESCO World Heritage status because actually if we make small incremental gains every year whether that's refurbishing a historic building um, lighting up a, a, a historic asset unveiling a new Roman mosaic if we do those little things eventually we're gonna have an even more special place to call our home um, I'm acutely aware, though, that as a local authority, the number one priority for everyone is will your bins be collected on time? We know that this matter is sacrosanct. However, there does come occasion when, as an elected part-time politician, you do have to step up and you do have to lead and you do have to make a difficult decision. And I'm so proud that as a collective, we made the decision to stick in a bid uh, and it's an honor uh, that our late um, queen gave us this, this opportunity. We've now got to seize it. Britain's first Roman city is now Britain's newest city, something I'm proud to have personally played a very small part in. And on behalf of the conservative group in here, the largest single party group, uh, I support the motion. I, I pay tribute to the, the mayor um, for his leadership in this. I pay tribute to the previous mayor, Councillor Robert Davidson, who was thrust in in front of the cameras and the media to, to, to welcome in the news. Um, and uh, I'm very grateful that you're all here this evening. I hope you have a lovely time. Thank you very much.